Hello, I'm Entrilism, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, a relatively realistic medieval RPG. We need to talk to a bandit who we have, in theory, just cured. Uh, I've just waited out the night over here in the encampment, because it's a free bed. I didn't find an inn in that village that we just cured, so I guess we'll have to make do with this. It's very dark at the moment. I do realize that. We need to, we need to get a torch out. Let's get a torch out. Come on. Am I hitting the wrong button? There we go. I'm not hitting the wrong button. For some reason it just got my bow out. I was like, what? I'm holding the button for torch, right? Okay, we need to go and turn right up ahead. There we go. Past the burning pile of... Oh, that's the cows and stuff. Right, they burn the livestock because they think it's a plague or something. Right, that makes sense. It's probably just poison water. Right. Hello. Is it the next right? Is it... Whoop. Is no one guarding? Seriously? Someone should be guarding this guy. Like, we're curing him so that he can run away if he, we're not guarding him. He did attack this town. We need to have woods. Hello. Are you better? Did it... It worked! Welcome back to the land of the living. Yes. Who are you? My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. Mm. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick, and not keep the Rate executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> okay, so who is the chief? That's who's the, the chief? The bandit leader. Bandit? <laughs> If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. I mean, we know, but, like, Henry doesn't know. We know, because we saw him in the very first episode, and we're like, he's gonna be the bad guy. He's wearing dark colours. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyed. But he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Pribislav. It's big and small. Robber barons who had their own... Brigades calling them my lord, and common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. Know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was, or what he had in mind, or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. Surprised no one talked about it then, if there were just like, you know, all different peoples leaving, coming. Hmm. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la di da like a lord. How did you know what Frisov is? Oh, he was there? Why did you attack Merhoid? Because he told us to? So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Well, he told him to? Of course to? I did. I brought those Groshen to Pribislavitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? 
I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. Ah. They used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Pripus Lovitz and decided not to show. I think we know where we're going next. And does this Manhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence. Apparently. Give it to me then. So you took the money in the letter to the chief from Menhart, and Menhart had the money. So the money isn't coming from the chief, it's getting sent to the provis of its. Unless, you know, it comes from the chief's holding and someone's sent... Oh. What were the letters about? I can't read. If I knew how to there read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. And that's all. Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me... There was a few others. The men got some real money too with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. That's a good point. I'm not asking about these two because like, he's already told us like, he was at Provisovitz and he got told to protect Mehoed. That's all I need to know for now. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. That's for Sir Radzig to judge. I mean, I can give you a swift death. Whichever you prefer. Also, the game has crashed. So... I'll be back. Okay, so I've tried about 10 different times in different ways to get this quest to not be bugged, and every time it crashes, whether I unmon my game, whether I ask him different questions, have a torch in my hand. So instead, we're going to take a different approach to this. Oh no, he died. Hopefully he can't bug now. He has the ladder on him. Funny that. And I'll have my arrow back. Thank you very much. You can keep your crap. And the game saved. Well, I guess we've got past that bug. My advice, always shoot people in the head rather than actually try and do the quest. It's far easier. I'll have your bandages. Okay. Go and report to Sir Radzig at the lookout point by Talmberg. And he'll be like, oh, there's a ladder. And I'll be like, oh, I did not know. Okay. Right. What if I can read that letter? Let's try. My dear T. When I discuss with you our currency reform, I certainly did not anticipate how the situation would develop. On no account did I consent to the coin in question being put to the purpose of recruiting bandits and mercenaries, thereby giving rise to widespread spot and unrest in the province. It's hardly worth thinking about what might occur should someone connect us to the massacre at Neuhof. I hereby give notice to you, Honourable Sir, that I do not intend to pierce it further in any enterprise with you or for your resources. I urge you to proceed with greater restraint, for it has come to my attention that a certain German knight from Passau has been making inquiries in the region about the counterfeit Groschen. This night, I'm told, is presently staying in in, in Sassau. Okay, so there's a night in Sassau. Huh. Well, I 
guess we've got to go report to Sir Radzig. In the dark. I choose the best ways to do things. Ah! Ah! Okay, that was definitely the best way to go across that path in the dark, where I can't see anything. And you can't too, because YouTube. That's not a path I'm getting lost. I go oh, tree. Okay, concentrate. Hello, random villager person out for a stroll. Screw it, let's go cross country. We can we can find our way. We can find our way. Oh god. There we go, we found our way, I think. Oh, that is a fancy horse. It's a Radzig! Huzzah! Successful! God be... God bless you. What troubles you? God be God bless you. I've returned from Merhoyed, sir. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? No. But even dead he was of some use. It seems that bandit was a messenger. He was carrying a letter. That's interesting. And what's in the letter? I can't read. Have a look yourself, sir. I haven't read it yet. I mean, I can I just say? Take a look for yourself, sir. Hmm. The names of the sender and recipient aren't written there, just the initials S and T. Seems to have some quarrel between them. This S person is threatening to finish with counterfeiting. Apparently, there's some German knight on the trail of the merchant Menhart. At the time the letter was written, the knight was in the tavern in Sasau asking about him. That sounds like a promising lead. You go to Sasso and find out what you can about this foreign knight. If he really is following Menhart, then he must know more than we do. Very well, sir. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Oh. Oh, okay. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. Let me shot in the head. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. Tribulations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I still ship Capri. Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? Capri for life. You can rely on me, sir. Is he checking me out? Good luck, son. Okay, right. Let's do this. I think we have to go talk to the knight who will then tell us where the merchant is, as opposed to just knowing where the merchant is right now because we talked to the guy. Which is a shame, because we had to shoot him in the face. Didn't we walk up? Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. No. 
Is he not going to say it? You can't go around hurting other animals that don't belong to you. There are penalties for damaging other people's property. Understand? Yeah, learn to pack around doesn't pay. Yeah, Just my luck. Look, I can't tell you anymore. The fate of the whole empire hangs in the balance. No, he's not buying. He's not even talking. Wow. Okay, I'll pay that money. All right. Accidentally Here punched a horse. He's very mute. Okay. Calm down, guys. Calm down. I just accidentally punched a horse. It happens to the best of us. Right, where is... Alright, sass out. Excellent. Let's go. Bring it. Oh yeah, I meant to go like that, but I actually took a shortcut up there. I mean, that worked for us. So, you know, off-road driving. Riding. It's a thing. We can do it. Might accidentally run over a few people. Get stuck on a car, like, a few hedges, but... Hey, if it works, it works. Probably not good for the horse. Right. We want the inn, don't we? Because the knight is staying in the inn. The inn is that building there on the right. Okay, let's do this. Hoi hoi. Oh, that's the cellar. Maybe, is he upstairs maybe? Because he's got a room? Ah! Oh. I can't even open this door. So he's probably in there and it's probably locked by a quest or something. Unless he's in here. Fresco Master. I don't think that's him, no. Right, well, let's go downstairs. Excuse me, Sir Knight. I want to... What? Lockpick? Really? But he's in there. How How can How can he be in there, but it be lockpick? Fine, I'll wait like an hour. And not keep me waiting. I'm in the service of the Lord of Radai. Get to kick down doors and stuff. Innkeeper! I am at your service, Sir Knight. You can at least turn around and talk to me, but fine. I've heard there's a foreign knight staying here. That Deutscher. He's gone. But he said he'll be back. Did he give his name? No, and um, frankly, he wasn't the type you want to ask twice. Why's that? There are guests I like, and then there's those as keep me awake at night. This night is a good payer, but he spends a whole day tweaking his whiskers and sizing everyone up for a fight. Ooh. I don't have bloodshed in my establishment. I'm in for this. Did you see his crest? That's just it. He arrived with a white shield, nothing on it. And the Wagners tell me that's how knights ride when they want to stay incognito. That is very odd. And do you know where he went? Yes, he asked me the way. Or demanded more like. Bastard scared me so much I almost forgot to ask him to pay. But you remember it in the end, eh? Well, business is business. And where was it he wanted to go? Well, he asked me about crossroads in the woods north of Rovna. I got the impression that was the he was one. looking for someone. I know the roads that way, so I advised him to try looking at the charcoal burners junction. I see. Thank you. So just what? He spent most of the day sitting, drinking, and gaping at the other patrons. Did you know any of those? No. Yeah. Right. We got what I wanted. You. You're welcome. Why was I looking for him? Oh, sorry. Um. It's not anything you have to concern yourself with. Ah. It's just that the gentlemen look quite formidable and quite questionable. I'd hate to think I'd sold him out. 
I wouldn't fret about that. I'll sort that. Right. We got this. Let's go. Right, so where is he? He's north of Rovna. There we go. Along with Fine Father Simon. What's Fine Father Simon about again? Your hanky in the monastery, she looks like she's having trouble. Oh, right. So I should find Father Simon, who knows about poisoning, and should be able to help Philip, but he left years ago. Okay. Well, we can do that at the same time, then. That seems good to me. Save people's lives and kick some butt. Good combination. Alternatively, kick people's butts and save some lives. Save some lives, kick some butts. Or save some butts, kick some lives. Which is a tempting proposition. We can save some butts and kick some lives. It's pretty much the same thing. Free car. Do, 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 do. How far away am I going? Do I want to quick travel part of the way? Eh. Yeah, we're going to quick travel part of the way. Just because we have gone through a lot of these places before, and a lot of the events on the road are kind of beneath us now. Like, oh no, I don't have bandits. Oh no. And we have seen this path before, so. Right, here we go. So, just south of here should be Father Simon. Shum one, Father Simon. You're there somewhere. Also, I only use that water to wash off. Because if we're going to go talk to a knight, or, you know, I can't use that water for... It's just... <sighs> Whatever reason. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I see there's not much going on around here. So you've stayed here on your own? Quite so. All by myself. All the others were either killed by the Cumans or fled to Rate. I'm sorry to hear that. And what's keeping you here, alone? My older brother ran away with the wandering players, so when our father was on his deathbed, he made me swear I'd never leave our home. I can see you took your vow seriously. I did. But it's starting to get dangerous around here. Again. The Cumans. If it were Cumans, I'd grab an axe and that would be that. But a week back, some rabble made their way through here. They begged me for food, and mark my words, they weren't taking no for an answer. If they'd been just a tad hungrier, I swear they would have stormed the cottage. There are gangs like that around, true enough. I saw the mess they left behind. Savages. It was horrible. People tried to find shelter in the church, but them dogs was waiting. They knew too well that's where folk would try to hide. Where did you hide? By the grace of God, I got my family away into the woods. And I don't see your family with you. I hope those bastards didn't sniff them out. No, no. It takes better man than them to track me down. I sent my wife to Rate with some others. Do you think folk will ever go back to their homes? Oh, I don't know about scallets. But the folk here are sure to want to Ooh, come Oh, spiritual back. support. The only thing they're missing is spiritual support. Do you mean the priest? Indeed. When the land's at war, noblemen fight to protect their property. But simple folk want someone to tend their souls. Of course. But it was the Scalitz parish priest who ministered here, wasn't it? He did. But there's been no sign of him since the attack. Or at least he's definitely not in Rate among the refugees. That's true enough. I didn't see him there. But if you're interested, young fella, maybe you could help us find the priest we need here. I can always ask. But I've really got no idea where to start. I can help with that. A few years ago, there used to be another priest in Scam. Yes. Simon, I think his name was. 
Simon. Father Simon. I remember him. That's the one who went missing, right? Aye. I don't want to spread rumours, but they say he was in love with his housekeeper. And then she died somehow, poor thing. Okay. Sodom and Gomorrah. Clerics today. Oh, God, yeah, man, mate. just like the rest of us. It's like scandalous. He's like, oh, my God. Well, to finish the story, Simon left the parish and ran away. Yeah, but where you to? You know that already. There was neither sight nor sound of him for a long time. Until this spring, he showed up here. Okay, we're getting and somewhere. what's he doing here? That's just it. People say he's become a hermit. All right. And where can I find him? I couldn't tell you exactly, <laughs> but you could start by talking to that girl's parents. Well, they live on a farm nearby, and it's likely they know more. They may even have had words with him. I'll go and see what they, they have to what? say for themselves. God go with you, lad, and I pray you find him. If some heathen stabs me in my sleep, I'd rather have a decent burial. Don't worry. I'll bring someone. Okay, well, that was an odd conversation. I was like, hmm, I'm looking for Simon. Oh, look, a villager. And then the villager's talking to me about a lot of other stuff. And then, incidentally, he tells me about Simon. I was like, shouldn't I be asking him about Simon? That's why I came here. That's why he has a quest mark on his face. Wait. Why is... I'm gonna remove that. But I need to find Father Simon. He's uh, up here. Well, we're just going to go to the crossroads at A then. Doo doo. Ah! There's also a house with a girl's parents and something. Hmm. We'll deal with that later. Ah! Is it this house? Just out of interest, this one seems to be slightly well cared for. Like it's got a glowing lantern. Hmm. I don't understand why it's X to interact with your horse rather than E. Alright, off here. Uh, I guess we're going a little bit off-road. Come on, here we go. Is that the merchant? Is he dead already? He's dead already. Quick, let's get off the horse. Good God, what a bloody mess. And it's very hard to look at that. Okay. Explore the crossroad. Um, okay. Nothing on him. Nothing in here. Anything up here? No, it's like maybe bloody footprints or something. Okay. Aha, there are foot bloody footprints. Ah. Right, um, examine. This way. Another clue. I must be going the right way. Hopefully he stays on the road. Mm. Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard something. I mean, that's pretty close. They'll have seen something. Oh, yeah. I am at your service, Sir Knight. Not a Sir Knight at all, but sure. What happened at the crossroads? What? Mate, don't play dumb. Enough bullshit. I know you dragged somebody here, so tell me what happened. I don't know nothing, and I haven't seen nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Borja. I don't want nothing to do with it. Do what? I thought you didn't see anything. Who is this Borja? Borja cracks the whip around here. You'll recognise him by his red cap. Thank you. His expression is just, like, so dull. He's like... I don't want nothing to do with it. You recognize him by his red cap. What the hell? Nothing changes. Hey. I will kill you if I have to. Shut up. 
NPCs walking into you and then complaining about it is one of the most annoying things in this game. <laughs> Apart from the bugs. Where's Boya? This way. Apparently, further this way? There's more blood. More blood. Oi, Red Cat Man. We need words. I am at your service, Sir Knight. No, sure, whatever. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Really? Yes. Is that a problem? Yeah, I'm going to cut off your hand. You're what passes for bristle and gristle around here, are you? Possibly. So listen to me, you hero. If you don't want me to wipe that crooked grin off your face, you'll start talking. Got it? Yeah, right. Because everyone knows charcoal burners as thieves and killers. Well, let me tell you, that's not at all what happened. I'll be glad to hear you out. Let's just get this straight. We didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads then? We were just passing, and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. I was wondering why there was Just anything. the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, the fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Where is he? We've locked him away, in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. I, I, I don't know. He, he paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. We've been through that already. I'm talking to him already. All right, all right. Just calm down. Here, take the key. Thanks. There we go. <laughs> like, I'm just like, yeah, no, we're not showing you him. I'm like, look, mate, I will just kill you. He's like, okay, sure, sure, here's the key. Oh, thank you. I'm just so polite when I threaten people. It's great. Hi. Who are you? Never mind that. I've come to help you. Thank God. I thought I'd breathe my last here. Lucky for me, my guardian angel comes bursting through the door. I'm no angel, so you'll have to answer a few questions before you get my help. Ah, oh, well, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. Recognize the face from somewhere. I don't know. I got a beating, and then I passed out. Can I see your wound? Are you a quack? Sort of. Hmm. That's a deep wound to the flank, and you're still losing blood. You need to staunch it. Will you help me? I can try. Give me a better state of mind. Do you know what you were carrying in that mug? <coughs> I never asked men hunt that. Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. Not helpful. And where's this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. Tell me more about the night. I look shiny today. Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. I, I don't know about any coin. I swear. Gah! Where are oh. those sacks you took from the wagon? Sacks? They're behind the shed. That's him. That's got to be that knight. Oh, we got this. Is that all? Did you take anything else? Uh-uh. Stop! Stop right there!
Let's go. Shortcut. Or, you know, get stuck there. Oh, get stuck in a bush. Okay, where is he? God. This is difficult. This is like the most weird chase sequence. Ah! Okay, right. Is it bird at the plane? No, it's Spider Man! I think I just ran past some bandits and triggered their aggro. Oh. Okay, come on. We are getting closer. But when he pulls a maneuver like that, he can turn so much better than me. Get my sword out. Wait, what? Oh. Had enough, boy? I can't get past your horse. That's the problem here. Ah. Oh. Ah. You could have lived. Ah. Really? Oh, for God's sake. Really? You're crashing again? I've never had Kingdom Come Deliverance crash until now. I really hope it's auto saved. That's frustrating. I'm back in a sec. Okay, getting stuck on objects is really frustrating. Let's try this again. Keep up with him. Let's do this. Whoa! You brought friends? Well, no. It seems you have some skill. He he is friends. Okay, right, maybe I need to back off a little bit. I don't like I don't like the fact you've got friends. Is that the best? I have no idea what happened there either. Right, run down. Come on, try and hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Let's finish this quick. Oh, that was a glitch. And when it comes to a glitch, I need to get better at what noticing now? those. He's still got so I many friends. Knock over, boy. You get what's <laughs> <up. laughs> Try and hit me. Try and hit me. Don't weak at the knees, have you? <laughs> Fuck. Try and hit me again. <laughs> oh, you try and hit me. Actually, you've got no shield, so there we go. You're dead. Come You're there. dead. Ow. Oh god, ow, ow, ow. How you Trying to, there we go, tight you. There I'll wipe my <laughs> right, another one down. Ow, okay. Come on, try and hit me. Come on, come on. There's an archer around somewhere, so I'm just being a little bit cautious. Such a waste of young life. I'm trying to parry. There we go, parry. Oh, okay. There was like three parry repulse in there. Time to say your prayers. I'm not getting them in time. Okay, get my stamina back up. What have shot you twice? Well, no. Pretty tough. I've shot him twice, and he's okay. Boy. Yes. Yeah. Nice parry. Okay. 
Okay, you need to talk. You're not, you're not gonna... Okay, talk. Well. <laughs> Who is that, Daffy? It seems I have finally met my match. Okay. Your match? I think you meant to say you're superior. Do not be so proud. My day has been hard. Mate, you jumped me with like five other that people. That doesn't change anything. Now I'll be asking you a That's couple a of questions, day. and you're going to give me answers to them nicely, starting with who you are. You may call me Ulri. I will tell you nothing more until you give me some assurance. I knew you, Ulrich, because I could assurances. tell from your nameplate. How about this? If you talk, I'll spare you. What? Do you expect me to believe that? I know full well how these stories end. I... I have been at the other end of the sword more times than you can count. Wait, so you kill people you said I'll you would let go? Word. <laughs> the word of a thief? Jesus. It is true what the preachers say. And in person in the background. This world has gone quite mad. You had better kill me. I'm finished. Anyway. Just as you are. Why do you think I'm finished? He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. Once you take a weapon in your hand, your days are numbered. It is the same for every one of us. Not everyone. Every last one. Knight, mercenary, He's not being helpful. Dead. I just want to kill him now. There are men who die peacefully in bed. Their wives and children at their sights. But not you or I. You will end your life in a ditch with a belly ripped. Unlike you, I'm not a criminal. You believe that the forging of money is an honest trade? I've got nothing to do with that. I'm not a forger, I'm the one investigating them. What? What are you saying? I'm in the service of Sir Radzi Kobola, Governor of Scalitz and Royal Hetman. Then we have something in common. I also am here under orders from above. From who? Perhaps you might sheath that weapon. I've sheathed it! So that we may talk eye to eye. If we do indeed have a common cause. Stand up. I already sheathed the weapon. Literally am here trying to have a conversation, mate. Ow! Can you get your people to stop shooting me with arrows? That would help. And again. Ow! And again! Is he? Is he actually attacking me? I might not be able to play King Grand Deliverance anymore. This is just gonna, it's gonna it's crash three times. This is not a crash, this is a hang. A very weird Ow. hang. I'm getting beaten up in the background. Ow. What now? Are you afraid, boy? He's hoping they kill me so that we can see what happens. This is a very Come odd then. episode. Let's see what you're made of. I'm gonna just OF4. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Let's do this. Go, 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 go. slow down there because I got ahead of him. Whoops. Okay. 
Come here. Come here. We'll do this whole silly fight sequence again. Oh, there we go. That was that was his friends or bandit people. Don't think they were his friends. He just happened to be working with them. Ah! I got caught out by this one almost last time, but this time it really did get me. my bow out. No, I haven't. Okay, right. That's it. Let's just come up alongside and we take the back ties out. Oh, 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 he could just fall off. Hi. Ah! Right, one leg. Other leg. Ah! Ow. Ah! That was not your shield. Oh. That was your face I was at. There we go. Uh, let me Stop. let my stamina regen. Hear me. Stop. I give up. Well. <laughs> okay, right. I want to know everything. Who you are, why you're here, and what you know about the ambushed wagon. You may call me Ulri. Assure Do you ex I give you <laughs> the Okay. What? Not every lot. Unlock I'll what? I'm in the service. Then we have from who? Perhaps you might get up. Stand right, up. please don't crash. Please don't crash. It is true yes. our meeting has not begun well. But if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila, then we can assist each other. What do you mean? I found out many things, but there are still questions I cannot answer. And the last man who knew anything is now dead. Who The merchant, Henry, you absolute bellend. What man was that? Mainhart, the merchant from Paso. Listen, I will explain everything to you. But first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? You will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you everything I've learned. Who do you mean? Master Tobias Pfeiffer. If you truly serve Sir Radzik, then you must know him. I think I know who you mean. What do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Pfeiffer, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense of it. And you'll give it to me, just like that. It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. In the meantime, I will return to Sasso and see what I might learn there. Shouldn't you go with me this to see Fayfar? No. I must remain in Sasso. I have some uh, loose ends that must be tied. That was. Did you just spurt blood at me? What's your name, anyway? I told you. I am Ulrich. Just Ulrich. It is enough. Because you look like a knight. They seldom have just one name. It is true. I have a horse, armor, a sword and a shield. But there are many ways to acquire such things these days. As I am sure you know. So you're not a knight? Point. I am a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all. And I was complaining about people calling me knight. Hey. All right then, Ulrich. Let's leave it at that. Tell me what you know about the false coins. Do you know, Paso? It's a German city, right? Correct. A city of great wealth, where there are many merchants. Paso is a city of trade. <laughs> All the currencies in Christendom... There's a difference between the lines there. there. I see. And that would include Prague Groschen. Some months ago, counterfeit Groschen were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from copper plated with silver. The puzzle of the man began to investigate and learn... Yeah, it's like some lines he's talking like this, and then sometimes he's, he's talking like this. But the problem is they go straight from this, from then there were Groschen, and then I While investigated them. The investigation... 
so they requested that he did. I process my audio, so that might not sound as much as Yes. He needed a man that he could trust absolutely. Who are you working for? I understand why you wish to know. But this does not mean I am at I will shoot you in the face, mate. That sounds a bit fishy. It is simply that my master does not wish to be revealed. And if we are to help one another, that is how it must be. But mate, you could be feeding me false information. And what about that wagon? What happened there exactly? I followed Menhard from Passau. I had reason to suspect a connection with Sassau. What do you mean about the connection with Sassau? The matter was investigated in Passau, and the executioner extracted information from those who were arrested. They told him that the coins were made in a monastery. What, in the monastery itself? I cannot say. I know only what the Passau scribe wrote down in his reports of the interrogations. Oh. That's important information that he really should have told me. Why did you let them get here before attacking? I wanted to discover where they hand over their coins, which I failed to do. Besides, Mainhard had an armed escort, and they kept two busy roads and lodged at inns throughout their journey. Until he came to this godforsaken trek, I cannot guess why he came here, but it was the perfect opportunity to strike. What happened on that track? I ambushed them. I took down two, but that bastard man had cut the horses loose and rode away. What next? While I was chasing Manhag, those charcoal burners came and stole what they could. Before I could catch him, his horse threw him and he broke his neck. So we won't get anything out of him? Unfortunately not. So they were transporting false Groschen on that wagon? Yes. On their way here, they brought real coin. Groschen, forints, francs and the like. But now, the eggs were full of counterfeits. Very well. I'll go and see Master Feyfar. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoners Inn. Ah, oh, right. The game managed to save. This has been a, an interesting ep what, I suppose I'm going sideways there for no reason. Uh, an interesting episode. Um, I'm kind of going to hope that that doesn't happen again. Because that was getting tough. For now, though. I've been Andrew Lissi. If you've liked, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Until next time, stay shiny.